Hi, this is Talkie Toaster. This little video is going to show you how to install the maps on a PC. This is for the uh, Basecamp and Map Source version. So obviously the first thing you need to do is you obviously need a PC. You'll also need the map. So if you go to my site, as you can see there, that's the link. There's the link. If you go there and then scroll down and you want the entry that says map set for use with PC only map source or base camp and that's the actual version you need this is the very latest one 160212 you click on the download and once it's completed then you want to move on to the next step the other thing that you will need is base camp if you go to the Garmin site, which is www.garmin.com, and do a search for Basecamp, and you'll come to this page. Basecamp is a free tool, completely free to download, completely free to use, same as the my free standard maps. Uh, you can take a tour of the product, so you can see exactly what it does. There are lots of tutorials available on the site as well, use certain features and how to do certain things, such as creating routes, tracks, and uploading them and downloading them from your Garmin. You can also geotag photos and you can obviously work with maps. What you're really here though for is the, the download. Now if you have Windows, if you have Windows Vista, Service Pack 2 or later, so if you have Vista, you have Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, you can actually use this quite happily on your system. Just click on the download and obviously then install it. So well, let's say you've got that installed now and you've downloaded the map. So let's move to that window. So there we are, we have the map downloaded. As you can see, it's a zip file even though you can't see the extension. Little tip for you there, if you want to see the extensions of files so you can understand what file format they are, all you need to do is go, or click on view, and there's an item there to show file name extensions. This is Windows 10. You can see this now says .zip at the end. It still tells you it's a compressed zip folder. And to open it, so you can actually install the map, all you need to do is double click on it. There we go, the file is now open. This is open the zip file, and you can see there's lots and lots of files inside here. Uh, the one that you mainly want to look at first probably is further down, which is the readme.txt file and the map source British Isles plus contours.txt file. That one there is actually the one that will tell you how to install the map. So if you're not following this, this video, you can actually just follow the instructions in there. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's say we've looked at that. We want to actually now select all the files in here because we need to move them out of the zip file and put them in a place where we can actually run the installation routine. So we've selected the last one, we clicked on the last one. If we now do shift click on the top one, so that selects all the files within the zip, right click, we want to do a copy. That's copied everything into memory now, so we can now move it. We want to go to drive C, and we want to create a new folder. So to create a new folder, we just click on this little folder button up here. It's again Windows 10, and we'll call it Garmin, not surprisingly. And we're going to put the map files in there, but we're going to create a new folder within that <clears throat> to make it a bit easier. So you might have multiple maps in here for instance, so let's call it um, TT Standard um, BI for instance for British Isles. Once we've done that we want to double click on that so we actually inside that folder you can see we're now in C Garmin TT Standard dash BI. If you right click in there and hit paste all the files that you selected earlier within the zip file will now be copied over. This will take a little while. Once we've done that, we will actually need to uh, access a file called install.bat. Now this is a very simple script file that will do the installation. Right, so there we are, we have all the files in there and we now want to scroll down. We're looking for a very, very specific file called install.bat. Now as I said previously, if you've got Windows XP, if you've got Windows XP, 
then all you need to do is double click on that file and it will install, a, in, install the, the map correctly into the registry. You do have to make sure you have map source or base camp already installed on your system. If you're using Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or 10 or Vista, you'll need to do something slightly different because of the way that the security permissions work on those later versions of Windows. So to actually install as we are on here Windows 10, you would right click on the actual install.pat and you want to run as administrator, okay? And that will actually open up a prompt saying, are you sure you want to do this? You say yes. And you see we get a new window, a little DOS box. And it says this batch file will install map for map source. It will also install it into Basecamp just the same. What the map name is, the PID and the FID. These are internal name numbers for, uh, for Garmin products. Don't worry about those. You don't need to know about that. And press any key to continue or Control C to abort. So we want to we want to carry on, so we want to press any key to continue. And you'll get, hopefully, four lines that says, the operation completed successfully. These are actually installing the relevant registry keys, uh, and then press any key to continue. If you get something different, you didn't run it with administrator privileges. So if we just press any key, the map is now basically installed. So we can now actually look at the map. So if we fire up Basecamp, let's just find Basecamp. So here we go, we're finding Basecamp. We're going to run Basecamp, which we previously installed. It'll take a few seconds to load up. We can get rid of that window. So here we go, it's loading up now, as you can see. And the map should be correctly installed at this point, so we will actually better see it in inside Basecamp. We know if it's installed correctly, because if we actually click on Maps, we have a new entry that says TT Standard British Isles Plus Contours. If we click on that, we get a very zoomed out version of the map. You won't see anything here at the moment until we start to zoom in. It takes a while for it to actually render properly. Let's get rid of the overview map. We don't really want that. So let's zoom down to uh, one kilometre. And we've now got the C. OK, we want to make sure we turn on detail level. As you can see at the moment, it's set to medium, and we want to actually set it to ideally highest. And you'll notice a massive change straight away. You can now see the contours, um, and we're still quite well zoomed out at this particular moment. If we start to zoom in, you'll see even more detail. So as we start to zoom in, you'll see there's more detail being shown. You'll see footpaths, or as they call it, trails. You'll see museums. And obviously, as we move around, you'll see all the roads, etc., and streams, rivers, etc., lakes. And you can see all the mountain peaks. And that really is it. It's that simple. And you can keep zooming in. You can get down to about 20 meters, and the maps do not break up. This is the beauty of this type of map because it is based on vector graphics rather than being effectively a scanned copy of a paper map, uh, which is what the OS maps tend to, tend to be when they're on the Garmin devices. You can see camp, camp uh, sites there. You can see um, places of interest, um, beauty spots, etc. It's all there. And obviously, if you're over a, a fairly uh, well urbanized area, you'll start to see um, various other bits and pieces. You can see pubs etc. And that's it really. It's really quite a straightforward installation. And once that's done, it's there forever basically until you up update it. Let's zoom out a bit more. There we go. We have a, a major area. You've got golf courses there and you have obviously all the other data. These are fully routable so you can do you can route with them. So you can plot routes between places um, and they are very, very nice little maps. This is a, it's not as detailed as though as my TT1 to 50 maps. They're similar to the, the OS Land Ranger maps in many ways. However, they offer, in many cases, more detail and they don't suffer from any of the problems. But I'll cover that in a separate video. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any ideas or suggestions for other videos you would like me to cover or to produce, then please drop me a line. Thank you very much.